This here is an ash piece that I cut from our roots. Cookie cut, this dead ash tree. So this would actually be the bottom. If you imagine this being flipped around. So when I cut this, I cut it really close. Well, the, the, that's the last log that I cut the firewood. And then this would have been right close to the ground. So if you imagine it's flipped upside down. I had to kind of dig the dirt away from it and uh, get this shape. Now it's 41 inches from this tip over here to this tip. I think it was 38 inches from there to there. But when I cut it uh, uh, out of the ground there, it, with my chainsaw, this was the chainsaw so close to the ground, um, I had a hard time trying to control the chainsaw to get a decent cut that it didn't end up um, digging in, but it did dig in. So I got this big dug in section over here and I don't like the way it looks. I tried staining this piece. I used this stain. It's a water-based stain. Just to see if it would kind of help blend it in, but it, I don't think that it did a really good job. I got some imperfections here to fill you too. But I've seen on Google, somebody had went and took uh, little cookie cuts and they had just cut out a shape here well, on their bench. And that's what I'm planning to do. So cut out a shape, take this out of it. So maybe go like a quarter inch deep, maybe half inch deep. And fill this in with little cookies. Maybe just wood glue them down. I think that's the direction I'm going to go. I could use epoxy or even um, instant tack glue. But I think I'm going to just try gluing it in. Then come back to it tomorrow once the glue is dried. And then, and then once with the gaps in between those little pieces, I'm going to put epoxy in there. I thought about staining it black, but I'll leave it clear. I think I am going to leave it clear so you can see the edges of the cookie cuts as well. I think that's going to be the plan, but we'll see. I thought I had some branches here that I could use for cutting cookies, but I can't find any. So my next step now is to go back into the woods, try and find some branches to use to put into that cutout that I'm going to do. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, it's freezing cold out here. This is what I came up with. With the chainsaw I used. Get a couple of different diameter logs here. So bring them into the shop, cut them up, see what they look like, and hopefully this will work. In the shop, well, back in the shop. Did get some different varieties of wood. I think some is maple, some ash, all this stuff I don't quite know. Hopefully it looks good, but I'm gonna take all this stuff, take the bark off, clean it up. And uh, yeah, once I get it cleaned up, I might just take a wire brush on the drill or my angle grinder and clean it up, see what that looks like, and then go from there. Well, I'm starting to clean these pieces up, and I don't know, I'm starting to second guess it. I wonder if maybe now that I got that the bark taken off, I don't know if that looks any better. That wire reel is rough on it. And these pieces look like they have a bit of rot in them. I'm wondering if I'd be better off maybe just trying to select some of the nicer pieces here, or the nicer chunks, and maybe even leaving the bark on them. If that would look better or not. Not quite sure. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take them to the chop saw, miter saw, and uh, cut a few cookies and see what they look like from there. So here's the pieces I've gotten. So. Again, I'm going to try and arrange them in a way so I can cut this out to make it look good. See how it goes. I think I'll put this on a time lapse and play around with it and see if I find something I like. Well, you can kind of see our vision. That was go tick. Trace this outside edge all the way around. Right, and then take these pieces and have them set in there so that they're flush. And then fill all the spaces with epoxy. I think it looks kind of neat. I don't think this will work. Just trying to debate do I leave the bark on the pieces or should I take them off? I kind of don't like the way it looks. I don't know how much you'll really see it. Probably with the epoxy, it'll stay good. But, how should I make it? Is it not big enough or? I'll see. I'll play around with it a little bit more. Maybe it's a little bit too thick in that area. Okay. 
All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so I got the cut done. This is the router bit that I used. It's, uh, it's a one inch. I should not be calling it a blade, so I'll put it in, but it's a pretty aggressive cutter blade. And uh, this is, so when I penciled around, I just went by my pencil line. So this is the all the way around. And now, I'm gonna take those cookie pieces, set them in. Actually, I can glue them in. I kind of laid them out on a pattern. Close to, not exact. <clears throat> Close to what was there. The inside pieces are kind of all over the place, but I kept the outside edges fairly close. So, you can see those are going to here. Hopefully they all fit, they should. I'll glue them in once I got them glued in. I think the next step is to let it dry. And I should be able to do epoxy either tonight, probably, probably tomorrow morning. All right, see you then. Well, there's the powder. I think it looks good. You know, leave it like that. I think the game plan's gonna be, glue it in there. Should be interesting. I keep track of it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue one piece at a time, mark with a pencil, so I wouldn't know which pieces are glued in. If you guys have a better idea where it should be done differently, please let me know. But that's gonna be the game plan. All right, here comes a time lapse video. I'm gonna clean up this edge over here. Just bring it back to where the original cookie was, I think. I'm not quite sure what the best way of cleaning that up is, but um, I think I'm gonna give my grinder here, the, I think it's called a cut saw wheel. Try that, see if that works. If not, then I got a flap disc, older one. This might be too aggressive, but here, it does a job for me. But I'll switch it up. Clean that up, tape it up, and uh, pour some more epoxy. I think through those, some of those cracks in the uh, original cookie, I lost a lot of my epoxy. It's not very thick, and not very deep. Okay, I'm gonna do, so that was a pour I did last night. Just 
just a very shallow pour. With a little bit of a, <clears throat> I don't have any epoxy dye, so I just used um, this stuff here, <laughs> charcoal. Activated charcoal for cleaning your teeth. So I don't know, it worked. Like it looks half decent. And you can see some of the black spots. Well, there's dirt in there now or dust, but I'll try it again. I just want to do an update. This here is the bottom of uh, the coffee table. So, got the, uh, I took varnish and I just sprayed the top and these edges with varnish sprays and kind of see what this looks like. This will be the sides kind of underneath, but this is the bottom of the table. So, just to give you a bit of a view of what it looks like. <clears throat> just want to spray one layer of varnish on here. It's probably closer to two on here just to give it some protection. And then I welded up these legs. So these are the legs. This is again upside down, you too. So flip that over. So this will be resting on the floor. But I uh, <clears throat> used um, three inches wide by three sixteenths steel. And I just bent these legs. Once I had them bent, then I uh, welded them up. Pre drilled my holes for me to be attaching it. I just started spray painting it. As you can see, that's not been painted yet. Just a matte black finish. So yeah, those legs go underneath attached to here and uh, yeah so I'm hoping to pull my epoxy out I'll show you what that looks like before I do the epoxy port the clear the whole top hopefully that works out but I'll, I'll keep you posted all right got the top all on final sand on it I'm ready to apply the epoxy I hope it's all gonna work out I hope I have enough epoxy and don't have a lot but I just have to fill this here and I'm gonna use the paintbrush. <clears throat> Maybe there's better ways to do it, but this is the way I'm gonna try it, and hopefully it works out. Paint the rest of it, fill this section here, which is just slightly down, not by much, just a tad. And uh, got the legs over here. Just got them flipped. I just finished putting a coat of paint on there. So, let that dry, probably apply two more coats. All right, I'll do a time-lapse video of on the epoxy again, hopefully I got enough. Well, the epoxy's poured. We got just enough, hopefully. Looks good though. So, just like gonna let the bubbles come up and get the bubbles out as they come. As you can see, they're coming up already. So, I'm very excited to see what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Well, the coffee table is finally done. So, I just want to give you a view of what it looks like here. Up here, so that's what that inlay looks like. And I think it turned out pretty good. It's kind of a rustic look, maybe uh, not the best setting here with the uh, hardwood flooring, but I'm quite happy the way it turned out. I'll be some pictures of it as well, but yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Kind of a unique design, so yeah, there we go. All done, and my dog takes it too.